Have you ever wondered when the first wig was invented? Our story begins in ancient Egypt, where the first recorded use of wigs sprang to life. The Egyptians crafted wigs from human hair, wool, and plant fibers, using beeswax and resin to keep it all together. These wigs weren't just a fashion statement, they served a practical purpose too, protecting the wearer's scalp from the scorching desert sun. But that's not all. Wigs were also a symbol of social status, with the finest wigs reserved for the most distinguished individuals. Thus, the wig's journey started in ancient Egypt, serving both practical and status-related purposes. How did wigs find their way into African culture? Well, wigs have been a part of African societies for centuries, used symbolically in tribal ceremonies and traditional practices. They carried a notable significance, often denoting social status or spiritual beliefs. However, the advent of colonialism brought a shift in perspective. The colonial masters introduced their style of wigs, which were seen as a symbol of sophistication and class. This sparked a transformation in the perception and usage of wigs within African societies. The history of wigs in Africa is rich and complex, intertwined with cultural traditions and colonial influences. Ever wondered how wigs stay firmly on the head? It's quite the feat, isn't it? Well, there's a variety of methods employed to ensure a wig stays in place. Wig caps, for instance, are one of the most common tools used. They're worn under the wig, providing a stable base and protecting the wearer's natural hair. Another method is using adhesive glues or wig tapes, which are applied around the hairline to secure the wig. There are also wig grips, bands that provide an anti-slip solution. With the right tools and techniques a wig can stay put throughout the day. Why is it common for black women to wear scarves to bed? This is an intriguing question that has a lot to do with the unique texture and needs of black hair. Wearing a scarf to bed can help protect natural hair from friction and breakage caused by contact with pillowcases. It also aids in preserving hairstyles, especially intricate ones like braids or twists, by reducing frizz and maintaining their structure. It's a simple yet effective way to ensure the hair stays healthy and vibrant. So you see, wearing a scarf to bed is more than a fashion statement. It's about hair care and preservation. Do you know how many black women wear wigs? Well, it's a little tricky to pin down an exact percentage. However, it's clear that a significant number of black women have embraced the wig lifestyle. Reports suggest that more than half of black women have worn a wig at some point in their lives. This trend has been on the rise with wigs becoming increasingly popular due to their versatility, the protection they offer natural hair, and their role in self-expression. The wig has become an essential part of many black women's beauty routines. But why do black women choose to wear wigs? It's a multifaceted answer. Many black women appreciate the versatility wigs offer. With a wig, they can change their hairstyle more frequently and with less effort than if they were to style their natural hair. They can easily go from short to long, straight to curly, or even change hair colors without the commitment or potential damage to their natural locks. Additionally, wigs provide a convenient means of hair protection. Natural hair, particularly afro-textured hair, can be prone to dryness and breakage. Wigs act as a protective shield, reducing the exposure of natural hair to damaging elements like heat and harsh weather conditions. Yet it's not just about convenience and protection. Societal pressures and beauty standards also play a significant role. The media often portrays sleek, straight hair as the epitome of beauty, which can influence the hair choices of black women. Wearing wigs allows them to navigate these beauty standards while still maintaining control over their hair health and personal style. Wigs offer black women a way to express their style, protect their hair, and navigate societal beauty standards. What role does fake hair play in the creation of wigs? Now that's a question for the ages. Fake hair, including synthetic and human hair, is the very foundation of wig making. Synthetic hair wigs are cost-effective and easy to maintain, making them a popular choice. On the other hand, human hair wigs offer a more natural appearance and feel, but they come with a heavier price tag. Regardless of the type, each strand of fake hair is meticulously woven into a cap to create a wig. Whether synthetic or human, fake hair is the cornerstone of wig making. Is wig wearing exclusive to black women? This is a common question that arises in discussions about wigs. The answer is, quite simply, no. Wig wearing is a universal beauty practice not confined to a specific race or ethnicity. White women, like their black counterparts, also wear wigs for a variety of reasons. They may do so to change up their look, to protect their natural hair, or even as a solution to hair loss issues. 
wigs offer versatility and convenience, serving as an accessible means to experiment with different hairstyles and colors. Wig wearing isn't confined to any race, it's a global beauty practice. In conclusion, wigs are more than just a fashion accessory. They are a testament to the rich tapestry of history, dating back to their invention, through their role in African culture, to their place in today's society. Wigs serve a variety of purposes, from protecting natural hair to providing a canvas for personal expression. They are a staple in the wardrobes of many black women, with a significant percentage incorporating them into their daily routines. They are not exclusive to any race or culture, as they also find a place in the beauty regimen of white women. For many women, black or white, wearing a wig is an expression of personal style, a protective measure for natural hair, and a nod to cultural history.